correspondent on the demise of the freighter the SS Argo, torpedoed only a few moments ago by a Nazi submarine, of which I am a late passenger. Naturally, I mean the SS Argo. Already the swelling waters filled with all sorts of debris, flotsam and jetsam, uh, such as one would expect from this sort of predicament, and in the foreground, even in this dense fog, outlining the murky skies, an unforgettable panorama of a huge smokestack disappearing below the water surface. And as it draws its last breath from its round belly, clanging wistfully from the bells, defying testing its watery grave, this is war, my friends. War. Help! Help! Well, I'll be a son of a... Help! Help! How do you like this? Help! Help! Oh, shut up! Can't you see I've got a run in my stocking? Give me a hand, will you? I'm all in. No, hold it, darling. Wait till I get my camera. What a shot. Please! Oh, it'll only take a second. There, there, now. Now I'm at liberty to haul you in. Uh, 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 up you go! Uh, uh, Thanks. Oh, oil all over you. Now it's all my clothes. Uh, sorry. I couldn't find a towel in the water. <laughs> Have you got a cigarette? Here you are. A light. Cigarette case and a lighter? You're introducing a new style for lifeboats, aren't you? I don't get you. All, all this luggage about and you're getting somebody who doesn't look like they've just been shipwrecked. Man, I certainly feel like it. Look at this diamond bracelet. Class busted. There's a run in my stockings. And one of my fingernails is broken. I've never been so bummed about it in all my life. Say, I wonder what became of Joe. Joe? Who's Joe? My steward. The man who helped me into this boat. This is a number three boat. It's not in good shape. The U-boat got a shot at it. Well, I didn't stop to examine at the shell holes. It looked mighty good to me hanging on the thing. Joe said it would float, and that was good enough for me. How did he ever get it to launch? Well, I don't know. I was busy taking pictures. But he did, and he got me into it, and my typewriter and things, and safely away from the undertow when the ship went down. Then there was a cry from the frog, somebody calling for help, and over he went. You haven't seen anything of him, have you? No. <coughs> what part of the ship are you from, darling? Engine room. The name's Kovac. When I got up topside, it was in shambles. Oh, terrific, wasn't it? Reminded me of an air raid that once hit me in Chungking. It reminded me of a slaughterhouse I once worked in in Chicago. Those Nazi buzzards with the fish, fish fin hanging up, they gotta shell us too? Better look around for some of the others before the U-boat surfaces again and sees us. She won't surface. One of our shells got her. You sure? She was killed dead, darling. But did you see it? I not only saw it, I photographed it. Ah, uh, you're Constance Porter. I, I heard you were on board. So you took pictures, huh? Nothing else but. Oh, I got some wonderful shots on the deck. A little bunch of people running around on their lifeboats, and they looked kind of slow and fat and heavy with their life vests on, and oh, terribly lonesome, darling. Then a shell hit a lifeboat, and they all jumped overboard. I got a beautiful shot of the freighter going down, and oh, wait till you see one of the U-boat crew jumping overboard, and look, oh, look, there's a lovely touch floating by us now, a baby bottle half full of milk. I'll get my camera. Reach over and put it here and I'll get a close-up. Anything for you. Thanks, chum. A little to the left, huh? A little to the left. I say, here goes. Why did you break the bottle? Why don't you wait for the baby to float by and photograph that? Oh, well, I'll be a... Oh! Oh! Well, now look here. Get away, get wait away. Wait for my camera. Yes, where are you? Where are Over you? Here. you? You purposely knocked my camera out of my hand and into the water, you stupid. Where Close are you? Here, here. All right, we're coming. How we're coming. can you knock that camera out of my hand? It was absolutely irreplaceable. The pictures are priceless and the best I've ever taken in my life, and it goes to the bottom of the sea. It's better than going there yourself. Oh, I wouldn't have parted with that film for a million dollars. I'll never get another chance to get stuff like that again. All right, shut up, or I'll throw you in that mink coat you're wearing right where you belong. Oh.